Hey guys, now we have Rob Shattuck. He's the Executive VP and Chief Technology Officer of a company called TE Connectivity, which is involved with factory automation. Hi Grant, thanks for having us here. So Rob, what's your definition of the smart factory? It's about providing, in this case, I think intelligence at the edge. So making peripherals and machines smarter and then doing something with that data, trying to make uh, insights and analysis from the data you collect from lots of smart peripherals. So what effect has the Internet of Things slash Industry 4.0 standard had on factory automation? Are we starting to see results or are we still waiting? I think it's just beginning to have an impact actually. One of the big things that's going to happen with IoT is that it's going to reduce the cost of automation and making factories smarter and it's going to sort of make it much more ubiquitous. It's going to allow us to collect a lot more data. So if you think of um, where we have been in the past, uh, quite often what we collect in factories is just, you know, how many pieces am I making, you know, per minute, is everything still working? But actually once you get in there and you can start to apply a lot more smarts into every process, then you start to be able to get really interesting insights about how to make those processes more efficient, how to get better yields, how to better utilize the assets you got in the factory. We're really just at the beginning of this. So what sort of design challenges are your customers seeing both at the system and connector level for factory automation? I think, you know, so part of the challenge is, you know, how do I connect a lot of legacy equipment? How do I connect into uh, my existing networks? How do I do this without running a ton of cable everywhere? And then of course, when you get down to actually connecting at machines, you know, how do I deal with putting sensors onto the end of a, a, a rotating equipment and rotating machinery. That's really going to be one of the biggest challenges. Now, are there any specific TE products that are furthering automation at the connector level? There's actually one of the things we've been working on for a number of years is a product called Ariso. And this is, you know, connectors without contacts. We call it contactless connectivity. And it's the perfect solution for where you've got those rotating machines, where you've got stuff that's moving around. You know, if you think historically, when you try to connect up to moving things um, or things that are moving a lot, uh, you've got a lot of tension and stress on the cable harness and the, the connection system. By having contactless connectivity, you get rid of a lot of that. That makes it a lot more reliable. Well, that is amazing. So what are some of the benefits of a connector that doesn't actually have to be connected? <laughs> well, there's a great question. So you imagine that you can pass power and data across a connector without connections. That means I can do simple things like, you know, rotate the two things like that. Uh, they can go round and round and round. If you think of something that's normally going round, you tend to get to a point where you've got to go back the other way, otherwise the wires all get wrapped up. You get a lot more reliability from this. Also, of course, the reality of being on a machine is that not only may it be going round and round, it's also doing this kind of thing. It's vibrating, it's doing that. And of course, there's dirt and all sorts of other contaminants getting in there. So once you have contactless connectivity, you get these incredibly reliable connections to use in these harsh environments, these challenging environments. Um, and you get these connections that are going to last very, very long times. This is a very reliable way of making connections in a factory environment. All right, Rob, so what's next? Different diameter connectorless connectors, longer distances. I mean, give me, give me a peek into the future. Well, you know, the teams are starting to put together great roadmaps for this sort of thing. So, you know, if you look at some of our initial products, they're, they're relatively low power. So, uh, you know, 10, 12, 15 watt. So there's a whole roadmap to higher powers, moving that across these contactless interfaces. And then, of course, there's all the different data interfaces that you may want. You know, different levels of Ethernet, uh, different levels of USB, and then multiple analog channels. All these things are on our roadmap, so making contactless connectivity as ubiquitous as your average connector. That's kind of where we're heading with this stuff. That's amazing. All right, thanks for your time. Thanks a lot, Grant. See ya.